Welcome back, brothers and sisters, to another shift video. Today, I want us to shift perspective. Not so much only ours, though, but the perspective of those watching us when we pray of God's perspective and what He sees. See, unfortunately, the world cannot relate to God when they don't believe any other way than by seeing us and how we are before Him. It's a lot to carry, one thinks, but not really. Not when we start understanding certain perspectives ourselves. I want to give a very tiny visual representation of what I'm trying to say. Lord, I don't understand why you're not taking this away from me. You said you loved me. After all, I'm a living Jesus disciple. Now keep your promises, God, please. Unfortunately, brothers and sisters, when someone doesn't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ or they're busy learning and they watch one of his disciples, one of his children speaking with him, they can only decide within themselves the majesty of God in the manner in which we pray to him. Because how we pray to him is indicative of our respect, honor and praise of him. When they see the first instance, all they see is a God that has to listen to us very, very quickly because of the fact that he has to keep his promises and, 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 and he loves us. Now, God will keep his promises. There's no doubt in my mind about that. We've spoken about that several times. But I want the world to realize that his perspective is the second one. His perspective is this. Lord. I don't understand why you're not taking this away from me. After all, I'm a living Jesus disciple. Keep your promises, my God, please. Perhaps when we realize that 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 I've just shown you doesn't even come close to what the actual perspective of God is when he looks at us, the perspective he could hold and will hold for all those who don't honor him. However, he loves us. When we worship him, when we come to him in desperation and anguish like any father he will have compassion on you but please remember remember always the description of your God in Romans Romans 11 33 to 36 oh the depth of the riches of the wisdom and the knowledge of God how unsearchable his judgments and his paths beyond tracing out who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Who has ever given to God that God should repay him? For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Let's worship. Let's worship our God. And let's do right by those who are watching us. Let's give them the correct perspective of who our God is and his perspective of us. Yes, he can look down on us, but he doesn't. He holds us and he looks after us. Bless you, brothers and sisters. I hope this will encourage you to give a little more critical thinking today. Let's shift perspective. Love you. Speak to you next time. Bye-bye.